Hello and welcome to QX. Today I'd like to show you how to assemble a QX giraffe. To do so, I'll first show you what's in this box. So let's go ahead. First of all, there is the frame with the bottom bracket, chain wheel and cranks already assembled. Then there is the wheel, the tire is not fully inflated, do this later, and the cog is already assembled as well on this. There is the saddle and the seat post, the catalog with the DVD, and a box with some smaller parts. What's in there, I'll show you now. Just put the box away, <clears throat> and then let's open this little box. In the background you see the QX toolbox, which I'm going to use to assemble. We have the pedals. We have the quick release for the seat post. A chain lock. A key hanger and the chain, which we are going to sample as first. To do so, I'll first take both ends of the chain and put one part of the lock in the left part and the other part in the right part. Take care that the chain has no loops and is flattened full out. Then you take the clip and push it on one of both ends. To put the other one on, I'll push with both thumbs the chain in one direction to put both ends more together. You see, now this clip is going to lock in and then you just release the pressure and it locks in totally in the clip. So that's it, the chain is assembled. Easy, isn't it? So now we are going to put the wheel in the frame and we are also going to put the chain in the right place already. When putting on the chain, take care that there are no loops in the chain. I'm just putting those out right now. And then put it on the chain wheel, loose, just like this. The position of the cranks is not important. Then put the wheel in, screw the screws of the axle a little bit out to put it in easily. And then watch out that the parts on the axle are put in like this. The chain tensioner is outside and the bolts as well. This is the tightened version. Then push in the frame totally on the axle. Just like this. And by putting it in totally into the dropouts, the chain will have no tension. So you are going to be able to put it on the cog easily. Then I will put the chain tensioners in place. It's not quite easy. Take your time. And once they're in the right place, screw in the little lock knot a little bit as much as you can by hand. And then the axle screw just by hand as far as you can to prevent them from falling off again. Same thing for the other side. Put the chain tensioner is right in the dropout and screw in the little lock knot as much as you can, as well as the axle screw. Now we are going to put tension on the chain. To do so, we will screw in the little lock knots on the chain tensioners here to tear the axle to the right and this way put tension on the chain. I'll use the little ratchet from the QX toolbox to do so and I'll first put some tension on this one. Then on the other one, on the other side, to make sure that the wheel is totally straight in the frame and not more to one than to the other side. So first this was the one side, then now a little bit on the other side. You see already the axle is moving to the right. And now I'm just going to check whether the wheel is straight in the frame. Have a look here. It's a little bit more down, so I'm going to screw in the right one with the, where the chain is a little bit more to make sure that the wheel is totally straight in the frame. Once again with the ratchet, you see the axle is moving, the chain is getting tensioned. Check with your hands, it should be tight but not too tight. When it's too tight you'll see this when you paddle, you feel a little noise and a little rubbing. So just like this here should be okay. Do a final check whether the wheel is straight in the frame. So here wheel is far away from both sides as well. Now I'll take the 15 millimeter wrench to tighten the axle screws, both sides as well, not only one side than the other, otherwise you might risk that the wheel gets 
unstraightened in the frame as well. And by doing this first on the one and then on the other side, you make sure that the wheel is in place in the frame. Chain tension is still okay. Check this by pedaling and turning the wheel. You see the wheel spins easily, chain moves, and doesn't rub or make any bad noise. So that's it with the chain and the wheel. Then we will assemble the seat post quick release. To do so, I'll first unscrew the screw and the washer, insert it into the clamp, and put the washer with the round side facing inwards in again and screwing the bolt on loose. Then I'll just push it on the frame, making sure that the slot on the frame is on the same side than the slot on the seat clamp. And then I'll just push it on. That's it. To mount the seat post and saddle, just make sure that the handle is at the front, so chain wheel should be at the right side. Insert it in the frame. Make sure that it's aligned with the wheel. Screw the screw from the seat post seat clamp in a little bit. And then just turn the lever, making sure that the saddle does not twist like this. Should be aligned to the wheel. Now we're going to put the pedals on. Take care to take the pedal with the R for right on the inside, on the side where the chain wheel is. Screw it in clockwise. First, put some grease on the threads to make sure that it doesn't seize later. Screw it in by hand easily as far as you can. And after that, take the left pedal with the L inside on the axle and screw it in counterclockwise. This makes sure that when you ride later, the pedals won't turn loose automatically while you drift forward. So this is very important. Screw it in by hand as far as you can as well. And then take the 15 millimeter wrench and finally tighten them in the same direction as before. So counterclockwise on the left and clockwise on the right side. And that's it. You've assembled your QX Giraffe. Thanks for watching.